Hi, I'm going to show you what we're working on for math this week. This week in math, we are going to understand tens. So let's think. If I have a two digit number like 32, I know that this number has some groups of tens and some ones left over. It would look like this. Here's my three tens, 10, 20, 30, and then my two ones, 31, 32. So I can build that using my base 10 blocks, which you guys have and you will get to start using this week. So 32 looks like three groups of 10 and then two little ones, okay? So we're gonna understand that we can group numbers into tens and recognize that one 10 is made up of 10 ones. So that's what I have here on the, my whiteboard. So I've got one group of 10. Look at that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 blocks all connected together like this. You can actually see the little lines and count how there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's a group of 10. It is the same as 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So once we get 10 ones collected together, we can group them into one group of 10. Let's take a look at 20. This time we have two tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And that is the same as 20 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So once we get the groups of ten, we can make them into tens instead. So if I circle my groups of ten, there's one ten. There's another ten. I have two tens. And I know that I can turn that into this here. So two tens would be 20. So we're gonna look at our base 10 blocks this week. I gave you each 10 tens and 10 ones. So we're gonna be starting to make numbers. Let's see, we can even count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and so on and so on. So that's what we're gonna be working on this week for math is understanding tens, understanding that if we have ones, if we have at least 10 of them, we can turn them into a group of 10. All right, this week's gonna be kind of fun because it's always good to use base 10 blocks. So I hope you enjoy that and we'll learn a lot and start working with some bigger numbers too. I'll see you in class.